Hello home fragrance fans. Welcome back or welcome if you are brand new. My name's Bobby Joe, and I'm an independent scentsy consultant. So you'll have to excuse me. I'm in a different house. I am on vacation right now at my parents place. And so I am in their basement right now in the living room. Uh, hence the TV little Christmas tree colored lights going on. Um, so this is actually where I warmed all of these was here in the basement and I'll go over that a little bit more but before we go on you guys know I always go with a cheesy little you know dad joke so my dad joke is R.I.P. Bo boiling water you will be missed <laughs> oh dear okay a little bit of a cheesy one but that's okay all right so this room I would say is about 350 square feet eight foot ceilings there is a hallway and down the hallway there's one bedroom at one end one at the other and then there's a bathroom so it kind of these scents kind of wafted everywhere they kind of wafted sometimes into the bedroom in the bathroom or kind of up the stairs too so this is kind of what these did in this kind of layout. So my layout here is a little different than back at home, but I did want to get you guys these warming reviews uh, before these launched tomorrow, January 1st. So the Mardi Gras collection comes in this cute little box. <laughs> All right, it comes in this cute little box and there is five cents. So the box in the five cents is $33 Canadian plus your shipping and handling and $25 American plus your shipping and handling. So this is available tomorrow because, oh, happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Um, this is available tomorrow, January 1st. And so these are my warming reviews. So we're going to start off with, and I put two cubes in one warmer down here. That's it. Um, and I warm them for about 24 hours. I wanted to see what the throw was going to be like, what the scent was going to be like, um, if it died down, how much, things like that. So the first one, King Cake. So this one here is a bakery smell. What Sensi says about this one is sweet crust of cinnamon and brown sugar coated with silky notes of golden butter you can definitely smell the brown sugar and it, it's a bakery um it kind of smells like um i actually have this one um it's not my favorite but it used to be an old bar and it kind of smells like almond croissant i am not if you guys have been watching my videos, I'm not the hugest bakery fan. Um, it really has to be good in order for me to like bakery. And usually it has to have fruit in it in order for me to like bakery. Um, so this one, it, it was, you could smell the brown sugar. You could smell that crust in there and, um, and the butter when it was going that's this is what you got that's that's exactly what you got so i would say performance right out of the gate you were getting a pretty good medium smell about a seven out of ten um after about 24 hours well even 12 hours it did die down i would say it went to about a four or five no about a five out of ten and then after about 24 hours i would have said this one was about Mm, three or four out of ten um scent appeal for me again if you like bakery try this one you are going to probably like it um, especially if you like bakery i am not the biggest bakery fan so for me to like bakery it's really really hard um like i said unless it has fruit in it and this one didn't have fruit in it so this one was a little bit hard for me but I know if you like bakery, you're probably going to like this one, um, but it does smell like that crust. Yeah, you can smell a little bit of cinnamon, not a lot. I don't smell a lot of cinnamon in it, and even on warming, I didn't. I smelled more of the brown sugar and the butter. That's what I smelt in this one. Okay, so that was King Cake. The next one was 
Midnight Masquerade. So a beautiful dark, dark purple color. I'm sorry, my lighting in here is really, really horrible, but I am in the basement of my parents' place, so I didn't bring everything. I actually have um, my phone right now on my nephew's um, little play thing. <laughs> so Midnight Masquerade. Oh, that's a good one. So Midnight Masquerade, sugared vignettes and smoky vanilla dance behind delicate masks of Midnight Lily. On Warm, um, I really enjoyed this one a lot. Um, do I really smell Lily? No. Do I smell a little bit of a floral? Yes. But is it an ugly floral? No. I don't, I'm not a big fan of floral either. But you can smell that smoky vanilla. It is so unique and so different. It's kind of got that, um, like, I don't know, this one is going to go so well in our house because we have the dark woods and the metals and stuff like that. Sometimes scents just go with certain houses. Um, that's what this one's going to do. I actually really en enjoy this one a lot. I can smell um, the vignettes, like the sugared vignettes. I don't even know what those smell like. Can you smell a little bit of sweetness? You can. A little bit of that you can and even on warm it performed very well I would say out of the gate I was like getting about an 8 out of 10 um, so this one was really really nice and it performed pretty good um, I would say after 24 hours it went down to maybe a 6 but I removed it because I wanted to do warm reviews of all of these before January 1st. So it went down to about a six. So I would say another 24 hours and it would, it, it would still be performing good because it only lost maybe, you know, from an eight to a six and 24. So it maybe go down to maybe a four and another in 48 hours. So this one was really good. I enjoyed this one. If you don't like sweet, if you don't like bakery, um, you're probably going to like this one. Do what I say this is manly? No, but it's it's that smoky vanilla and it's got this little tiny bit of floral, but it's not ugly floral, if that makes sense. Um I do I I I did enjoy this one a lot. Okay, so that was the Midnight Masquerade. Third one. Okay. Was cream de mint. So very pretty green color, all right. Um, Sensi says on this one, garden mint, peppermint, and spun sugar. I remember I said this on my cold review that it smelled like uh, York peppermint patty, and it still smells like York peppermint patty. When I had it in the warmer, that's what it smelled like. When it was warming for those few few first hours, it smelled like York peppermint patty. Um, and I would say that I would have given it, given it about a solid maybe 7 out of 10 um, when it first started warming. However, this one changed a lot. The scent itself changed a lot. Um, it went to, it kind of gave that, I don't know, like... I know this is going to sound a little bit weird, but like a dirty mint, um, like, it, like, and that's the thing when they say garden mint, um, maybe that's what they were talking about. Like, I, I don't know. It smelled like, like a dirty mint, like, like dirt mint. <laughs> so it kind of lost its appeal for me. And then after 24 hours, I couldn't even smell this at all. So I would say the first like mm, six hours, if you hear that, that's the furnace, sorry. Um, the first six hours was probably a solid, you know, like I said, seven out of 10. And it was, it smelled like a York peppermint patty. Um, and then after that, um, it just got this, it started turning into this weird smell. And after 24 hours, I couldn't even smell it anymore. So, um, yeah, that's kind of my warm review of the cream de mint. Okay, the next one was Street Parade. So this was a fruity one. It's a nice purple color. Street Parade had blood orange, ju uh, juicy plum, and golden pineapple. So you can 
smell, you can definitely smell the pineapple and the plum. Um, I'm not sure about blood orange, but definitely the pineapple and the plum. Um, this one I really enjoyed a lot. It was, I would say, right out of the gate. Um, it started performing at a solid, you know, seven and a half, seven, seven and a half out of ten. So it was a good performer. Um, it lasted quite a while when I went to go remove it out of after the 24 hours. I would say that this one was still at, um, I would say, you know, maybe about a five out of ten. So people out there, if you're liking, um, fruity smells. This is a good one. Um, this street parade. This is a nice fruity. I can't, you can smell when it was warming, I could smell the pineapple and I could smell the plum, but it was, it had this a little bit of like, it reminded me of, um, a little bit of a tartness to it, like a little bit of a, like, you know, a cranberry has a tartness to it. Um, that's what it had. It was like fruity, oops, fruity, but it had, it was a little tart. Um, this, this one was so, this one I really enjoyed and it was a good performer. And like I said, it, it, after the 24 hours, it was maybe sitting at a six or a five, um, out of 10. So I enjoyed this one a lot. Okay. So the last one was confetti showers. Okay. It's a nice yellow color. Confetti showers, citrus, black currant, and peach. I, yeah. You can smell the citrus and the peach. I don't really smell the black currant. I smell the peach and the citrus, and this is going to be a fabulous spring summer smell. Um, or just if you like that kind of smell, that fresh fruity smell. Uh, I, I really enjoyed this one a lot. It performed very well. Um, I would say a solid like eight out of 10 right out of the gate. Um, it died down slowly after basically 24 hours. I was left at maybe a six out of 10. So this one was still gonna keep performing. Um, and again, I told you in the first part of the video about 350 square feet was the living room, plus there was added footage of the the hallway and the bedrooms and stuff. It kind of wafted everywhere. All of these did. But this one I really enjoyed a lot. Um, again, I love fruity, not a big bakery, but love the fruity smells. Um, and this one, just that citrus and that peach. Peach, I love, like, Sensi does not do a lot of peach. And this confetti showers was a good one. I really enjoyed it a lot. So um, yeah, th this is my warming reviews of all of this Mardi Gras collection. Now I'm going to rate them. So I am going to go from last to first. Last would be cream de menthe. Uh, I just, there was like, I don't know. I, I, I think it was because after the five hours or so it went into this dirty mint smell it was just unappealing to me and then it lost its scent after 24 hours like I do I don't even know where it went so it wasn't a good performer I was I didn't enjoy this one um I will not be ordering it again and it it is definitely not club worthy worthy for me uh number four would be king cake and I actually thought this one would come in last. Um, I thought it, the, the, mint, the mint would be in uh, fourth, but <laughs> because of the performance and it, it just changed smells, uh, King Cake, for me, if you're a bakery person, you guys are probably going to really like this one. I am just not the bigger, biggest bakery person. So King Cake, um, and it was a very good performer too. 
So I would put this one in fourth for me. Number three. I would say number three would be... Oh, this one's hard. You know what? Even though I really enjoyed this one, it's Midnight Masquerade. I think these were pretty... Oh, there we go. These were all pretty similar from my cold sniffs to my warm, except cream de mint and king king got switched around. Um, cause it did come in number three for me, uh, on, on cold. Um, doesn't say that I don't like this one. I would repurchase this one. Absolutely. Um, would I put it in my club? No, but would I repurchase it? Yes. Um, this is a good one. I did enjoy this one. It's not, like I said, I, I don't, it's not bakery. It's not fruity. It's just this really nice, that vanilla or that smoky vanilla, um, in it. And the, uh, and that, like, it's just that smoky vanilla with a bit of floral. It's just unique and different. And I did enjoy this one. So number two. Staying as my cold sniff is going to be Street Parade. I did enjoy this one. It was that tart, plum, pineapple y smell. It was a good one. This is going to be a great spring summer one. Um, would I repurchase it? Absolutely. Is it going in my club? Probably no. Just because Sensi comes out with and has such great fruity smells that I just prefer um over this one so I, I can't say it's bad it is not bad it is a really good one I'm just not going to put it in my club but would I purchase it again absolutely and then number one of course it stayed as my cold sniff review is confetti showers I love this one it's that peach that's in it Again, not a lot of peach out, out there for Scentsy. So peachy, citrusy smell. Great performer. Really enjoyed this one a lot. My sister-in-law was here. She really enjoyed, actually, her and I, I think we have the same sniffer. We both enjoyed Confetti Showers and Street Parade. So we both enjoyed these two. Um, King Cake was, and Cream de Menthe. And we did enjoy the Midnight Masquerade. So we did like these three. <laughs> um, so will I be putting purchasing more of Confetti Showers? Absolutely. Will I be putting, is it club worthy for me? Absolutely. It is club worthy for me. So out of the five, one will probably be going in my club. I will be purchasing three again. And the other two, I will, mm, I don't even know if I'm going to use the Cream de Mint. I will make samples out of it, and that will be it, um, along with King Cake. I won't purchase this one again. All right, so that is my warming reviews, you guys. Have a safe and happy new year. I will see you guys next year. <laughs> even though it's December 31st. Um, if you guys like this kind of content, please like and subscribe below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Take care.